Hello, hello my darlings. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So it's a new week. I hope you guys are good and enjoying the beautiful sunshine. So today I, I went shopping. Oh, by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, comment down below and say hey to your girl. And follow me on Instagram, TikTok, where I share all things fabulous. So babes, today I went to Asda and I got some, some bits and bobs. First of all, I need to complain about this guys. I need to rant about this. The other day I went to Waitrose. Why did they charge me 50p for this bag? 50p this cost 50p like my sister will tell you i couldn't believe it i was in shock like i was in shock i was just literally going on and on about it because i couldn't believe that this shopping bag cost 50 pounds now so not 50 pounds at 50p I couldn't believe it. Like, how can this? How can this thing cost 50p? Like, how? Uh, but yeah, I went to Asda and I did some shopping. <laughs> My bag's in there. <laughs> I did some shopping. My poor Jacquemus. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Sorry. Um, so I got this um, mixer. What did I call it? A whisk. Because I need it. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it because we have a little bit of an update today. I'll quickly show you what I bought. I bought the whisk. I bought popcorn. I love the sweet and salty popcorn. So I got that. Um, I bought this mat for outside. For outside my house. So I've put that out already. I got some yogurt. I'm not really a fan of yogurt. But I do like this brand. Because it's good for your gut. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. And then I bought some double cream because I love making my, I love making my, um, my pasta with this. And then I bought my favorite Freshenet. I got some Freshenet cover. I bought two of these mini baby ones. Um, because I love it. It's such a beautiful drink. I prefer this than Prosecco. Um, this has a sweetness and it's closer to champagne. Do you know what I'm saying? With this, if I feel like having it, at least I know this is exactly one glass. And obviously when people come over as well. Um, and then I love cooking with this. So I added some of that. I bought two packets. And then I also bought... <laughs> and then I also bought this um a masher Masha, oh guys i broke my vlogging camera can you imagine still recording but it's just moving crazy um i bought this mashup because my sister was here the other day and she wanted to make some mashed potatoes and i was like i don't really eat mashed potatoes i'm not really a fan like that she was like oh i love mashed potato i love it so she made it she's like do you have anything for me to mash it and i was like i actually don't she was like what how can you not eat mashed potato how can you not have a masher so i was like I'm gonna go to the shop, I'm gonna get a masher just for you. So, ta -da! So, this is for my sister, when she comes, she can make her mashed potato. Can you imagine? And then, I also got my Lenore crease, release, crease releaser. I do prefer the other packaging, but for some reason I can't find it anymore. So I just got this one, because I like to spray it on my bed, even on my sofa, and on my throw. Yeah, I'm going to get some organizers for my snack drawer because at the moment it's a mess but i may also get some organizers for under my bed but to be honest with you babe there's so much to sort out that those actually don't take priority at all um because i do need to get outdoor seatings because it's getting warmer now um so that's more of a priority for me to get the outdoor seatings um and then the snack drawer let me show you it's not that bad but i would like for it to be a lot more organized so this is the snack drawer what it's looking like right now what i'm thinking to do is to get like these type to put them in there um those glass things to just organize it here get some labels and then get that started that's what i'm trying to do i bought this from h&m um, home um in the sale it was like four pounds really nice marble um i could use it as a wine cooler and i can also use it as a um, stand for my spoons my cooking spoons and i love it babe absolutely love it and to think it was only four pounds is actually crazy and again this was from h&m home 
I know that they have a similar one, but it's sold out. When it comes back, I will link it for you. Also, I don't know if I ever showed you this side of the kitchen. So basically, I've got this marble tray. This was this is old from TK Maxx. Um, recently, I bought this lovely. Um, I forgot what these are called actually. I'll write it down on the screen. I bought this marble one. I had one here already, marble, but it was quite slim and tall. And I just knew that a round fat one like this would just look so much nicer. So um yes, I bought this. This is it's, I think it's a crusher, is it? Because you can like crush your garlic, you can you can mash and you know do other stuff in here. And I just love the sh I love the shape of it. It's really nice and the marble like really matches well with this um, and yeah I really love it I really really love it I really love marble in my in my apartment like I think even in my future house I will definitely have marbles everywhere nothing screams more sophisticated elegance more than marble I love the look that it gives and every time people come to my house actually they do mention oh I see the marble theme like I really like it it's nice because I do have this um, tissue stand so this is marble as well. I actually got this from TK Maxx. Um, I think my sister bought one, but hers, this is marble as well. But the only thing is this is now starting to move a little bit, which is quite annoying. So I'm hoping that it doesn't break. Um, but yeah, it's moving too much now, actually. This is going to annoy me. So I also changed my coasters. I had the marble round ones, but I really like this shape. This square is really nice. I love the shape of this and I love the shine. Um, it's the same thing. It's just that the shape is different. And I thought this was a lot more cool and a lot more uh, modern. So I bought these, I think, don't watch my nail. I need to get them done. Oh, I'm gonna give you an update actually for these SNNs. Um, yeah, so I love how these, these look. And especially that when you put a mug on top of it, it looks really nice. I'm actually going to buy more of these because I just love the shape. I think this looks really, really nice. I love it. I love this. Um, so next, I'm thinking to get to change this. Um, I might keep the one behind, but this is not actually a, a chopping board. It's actually a serving tray. So this is going to go back in storage. Same with this. It's a serving tray, but I use it as a chopping board. So I'm thinking to get a marble one, like maybe a marble um, mixed with this color. I think that will look really nice. So like the same shape, the same shape like this, but just in marble and a mix of wood. I think it would really, you know, um, help to elevate this area. And then I think I'm going to change this as well. Um, I saw a really nice clear one on Amazon. I think I'm going to get that. It will look really nice in this area. And quickly, you guys were telling me in the comments that you thought my bar cut was too busy, too crazy. So I changed it. Okay, I changed it. I took some stuff out for you. And it actually looks better. My sister ever said, yeah, she prefers it this way. So I'm going to quickly show you. I've put some stuff in the fridge. And I think this way looks a lot more elevated. It looks a lot more sophisticated. And I love it. So let me know what you think down below. So this is what I've done. I've got rid of all the other champagnes and drinks I had here. I've just kept four bottles and I've kept two champagne glasses because before I had like three, four, five champagnes here and like I had the whiskey glasses here and these glasses were down below. So at the minute, I only have um, my Laurent Perrier Moet and Freshenette. And then I've got my champagne glasses here. And then down here, I've kept my Prosecco, Musca pink Moscato, some red wine, and a small deep teak candle like that. I think this looks a lot more better. So let me know, ladies. I do listen to you. So I'm giving you what you want, but obviously I know it's my house. So, you know, whatever I like, I'll do. But I do prefer it this way. I think this looks so much better. What do we think? Do we like or what? Right? I really like it, especially here. I really love it yes we love to see it and also i moved the ornament that was here from h&m i've put that away now because i think it looked a bit much i've just left i've left this deep teak candle holder and i've put another candle inside and i think this looks a lot more simplistic um yeah i really love it this way and yeah i like this what do we think i think the white and uh, gray just balances off together really well and it looks less busy definitely it looks less busy i'm thinking to also change that area but i will let you know how i feel <laughs> 
I'll let you know how I feel. This area is still the same. If anything, I've just spread it out, the um, pussy willows. Um, these are the real ones, actually. I've not kept them in water for about two weeks, and they're still alive. Um, I think they soaked up so much water when I had them in the water that they just don't need any more water. So once these die, I'm going to get the full ones because I love the look of it. I just think this looks really nice. Um, when I do get the full ones, I might keep it here or I might actually put it there on my um, high table. I'm not sure yet, but I do love how, um, how this looks. It just adds a really nice element to the apartment. Um, I think I'll change the pillow on that as well. But yeah, I'll let you guys know when all that will be done. Maybe something will go behind the chair. I'm not sure yet, but like I said, my priority right now is to get the um it's to get the what do you call it it's to get the outdoor seating um because i do want to host i'm going to show you this gorgeous bracelet that i received from carrot london just look at the packaging it came actually packaged differently but i was too curious and i opened it and i couldn't um wrap it the way it came so i was like ah i'll just do a little cheeky bowl and it's fine i love this bracelet it's so cute and i feel like it's gonna really complement the rest of my bracelets really well you know i'm really into like my jewelry at the minute um especially bracelets i'm really into it at the minute so i think it will look really nice for summer i have a discount code it's idweja10 i will write it on the screen also i will have the exact link to this bracelet down below for your reference alongside the discount code so don't forget to check it out follow me on instagram as well so that you can see how i'm wearing it but yeah let's go ahead and um box I love this bracelet so much. It literally sparkles all over. I cannot wait to add the rest of my bracelets with this. This is such a statement piece that you could wear to like um, any occasion. Before. And I think it's such a great investment. So don't forget you have my discount code, Edwija10. Um, I'll leave all the other details in the description box down below for your reference. So I'm going to go ahead now and just make some food make some rice put the stuff in the fridge and then i'm going to um do my thumbnail for today's video all right is nice and organized i do need to buy some more organizers for the fridge okay so my fridge is nice and organized but i do need to buy some more organizers for my fridge um not bad not bad at all um so i've added my freshenette at the back and then my moet and bottega gold um oh champagne there i've got my yogurts here my garlic paste my fruits some water juice um some more fruits i've got chicken here some eggs some more food fruit and the rest of it is just fruits i will get some more organizers as an, and a nice egg holder as well because i don't like this one it's so basic and then over here we just have like the you know everyday stuff so yeah cool um when i do get the more organizers i will give an updated fridge tour <laughs> so my sister's fridge actually looks really nice she got a new fridge which i think she actually showed you guys and um it's just so organized that she bought all these organizers it looks so fancy so i was like i need to do the same i need to do the same honestly but yeah uh, i'm gonna go ahead now and eat and edit so i'll catch you maybe later if i don't see you tonight then tomorrow have a good night lots of love Mwah hello then my darlings welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well so i was just here getting ready and i was like oh 
I forgot to film my makeup look but I'm not done yet so I'm gonna just keep the camera rolling and show you my makeup I'm heading out for a sky bar PR invite um, with your babes Kati Dilam so I'm gonna meet her soon I feel really unwell though this week I've been up and down up and down um, my iron has been extremely low so I've been very very tired um, but the show must go on so I'm trying my best to stay on top of schedule um, but I, you know when you feel like you're coming down with something that's how I feel but let's go I'm gonna do my makeup I'll see you in a bit I'm wearing my Caramillion Gorgeous Blazer. It's a bit oversized, but I feel a little bloated today, so it works perfect. I'm wearing jeans. Delan made a comment and said I never wear jeans, but I actually do. Um, so I'm wearing this gorgeous Levi's jeans. You guys have definitely seen these before. I love them. They're super high-waisted. And I'm bringing this gorgeous Gucci bag. Earrings. I'm wearing um, Chanel earrings. I love them. They're so cute. I need to get more. Monica Veneda ring. Monica Veneda rings. And a Monica Veneda bracelet. I will link it all in the description box. Fragrance of the day. Oh, hair is um, from Hair Vivi. I will also link it down below. Um, fragrance of the day. We're going to go for Oud is a fan. Oud is pahan. Oud is a fan. Oud is, mm. You know what I mean, babes. We're going for this. This camera's just not focusing today. We're going for this. Um, now, I don't actually know. I don't really feel like wearing this today. I think I'm going to go for my Maison Francis Cat de Jean, um, Gentle Fluidity Gold. You can see I've actually used almost half the bottle of this because I do love this scent. It's almost skin like, it's really subtle. I should really put my fragrances before my jewelry, but I completely forgot. Um, I think I'm gonna probably, because this is a very light scent, perfect for summer. So what I might do is actually go with my Udis Fahan on top. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna layer it like that. There we go. And I've actually used quite a bit of this as well. Um, yeah, so we're ready to go. I think what I might do is bring my, um, my Molten Brown Patchouli and something pine patchouli as an extra fragrance to spray when i get there so i'm gonna put that in the bag along with my camera and yeah i'm ready to go now um so outfit is really cute and i have my um jimmy choo heels i forgot to tell you i have my jimmy choo heels in the bag and i'll wear when i get there i'm probably gonna wear flats and put my coat on so i'll see you when i get there babes bye <laughs> Hey guys, so just got to the park lane at number 10, Sky Bar, with your babes, Kati. Hello. Oh, oh. that is good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, she's so vain. So we're wearing the same shoes. Kati copied me. Look, wait, wait, wait. She said, <laughs> I have to wear the shoes today because I we did. Need to be I did. I look the same rings. Oh, twinning. My bestie. <laughs> really nice bathroom. 
we've made a mess and oh outfit let me show you my outfit so this is my outfit i'm wearing these gorgeous jeans and look our outfit's so cute <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's winning! Is it the Zaha Zaha uh, jeans? Mm mm. Uh, Levi's. Oh, okay. yours is from Zara. Okay, yeah. Oh, you try to make me run insane. You guys know how much I love my prawns from here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that and maybe a few other stuff and then go home. So in Costco. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm heading out to a seafood bar. I've been invited to. I'm literally about to get dressed. I'm not even dressed yet, but makeup and hair is done. Um, so I'm literally about to leave and I'll film again when I get there. I'm heading there with my friend Matthew. You guys have definitely seen Matthew around before. So say hey to Matthew when you see him later. It was his birthday and I promised I'll bring him along with me so we can also celebrate his birthday. Yeah, okay, cool. See you. Bye. All right, guys. So I just got to Oxford Street and I'm walking down. I'm walking down to the restaurant. Oh, I feel really tired today really lethargic um yeah just really like 
Like I'm done out here, I'm done, I'm done in. I think my iron may be really low today. I don't know. Well, I need to focus on trying to find this place. So, I'll be back. Cheers, Matthew. I've drunk way too much champagne. So today is orange juice only. This late my friend. I think I'm from Sunday. Yeah, I went out with my friend and we just had champagne all night. Nah, I've had enough. <laughs> Terrible. 
you're terrible. I mean, your head, isn't it? Muff is terrible. <laughs> My God, I always know what you're thinking. Do you ever know it? I always know what you're thinking. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> kiss food. <laughs> food looks so good. But he doesn't know. Listen, we're not going like to eat yet. I don't eat straight away. Sometimes half an hour later, we're eating. Because I got to take the content, and you know. But guys, we're about to dive in. Wish us luck, okay? But he's like. You give me Mr. Bean vibes. Start with the hot ones, yeah. So we're going to start. so I just got home sorry about earlier my battery completely died um, I literally did about 10 minutes worth of filming I charged my battery but I forgot to swap it and I forgot to bring the spare battery so annoying so I'm gonna quickly cleanse my face it's really late it's like one o'clock in the morning I got in really really late I've been sent some beautiful products from Elemis mm. Honestly, I have been dying to try this. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and show you what I got and then cleanse my face because I'm so tired. I have to be up super early in the morning. Thank you so much to Elemis for these amazing products. I cannot wait to use them. I've already used this cleansing balm and when I tell you, this is the balm. It's the bomb. <laughs> I love it so much. So babes, just quickly I'm going to show you, so the lighting's a bit weird here, but I want to just quickly show you these products. Um, so they sent me the cleansing balm, which is so good for removing your makeup. I love the texture of it, just look at that. Can you see that? It's so good. It's in like a really gooey, rich texture like the formula it's so good it really removes the makeup really well because you know oil cleansers are really good for removing your makeup and so i can imagine this being really good for um waterproof mascara extra coverage foundation concealers like this does the job it really does the job and it smells so good it smells like a luxury spa and i'm here for it i love it and they also sent me this uh, amazing um dynamic facial pads these are apparently so good so these can be used as an exfoliating formula it can be used as a toner because you don't actually wash this off um after your cleansing you can go ahead and take one of the pads like this Take one of the pads like this and just literally wipe it all over your face and pat it in as always. And you could go and use your serums and stuff like that. I didn't actually show you the formula of the cleansing balm. So I'm going to show you the texture. I don't want to waste these. And how gorgeous are the packaging, by the way? I love it. So this is what it looks like. Can you see? It's an oil base. Like it really gets everything although it's really gooey and rich but as soon as you apply it to your skin 
it's really it's a thin layer but the oil um the texture of it on the skin is really soft it's really light um in comparison to others that i've tried they feel really heavy on the skin this doesn't feel like that at all which is why i love it and they also sent me the um collagen eye revive mask let me go ahead and open this up for you thank you so much to elements i've always wanted to be um i've always wanted to work with them and try out their products so i really appreciate it so this is an eye cream um i'm really looking forward to using this as well um it says to apply a thin layer to the eye contours leave overnight to absorb and you use it a uh, minimum of three times a week okay cool so this is like an eye concentrate so it's not an eye cream like a night and day eye cream you only use it a few times a week and just to revive the skin around the eye i want to see the texture of it Ooh. oh that smells really good look at that really beautiful texture it smells really nice really fresh i can't wait to use it let me see the formula here so that is it there right there so it's super lightweight it's like in a gel formula i really like that i'm definitely going to use this tonight I'm gonna try them and see how I get on. I'm gonna let you know and hopefully do like a skincare video using all of these. So this is um, a night cream. A night cream, which is good for um, replenishing the skin. And let me see. Oh, wow, look at the texture of this cream this is really nice so this is the anti-aging cream it's again really creamy and rich and i love i love this kind of formula on my skin although my skin is oily it tends to get very dry at the same time um so i like to really hydrate my skin so this is the texture of it right there as you can see it's really really creamy it's really really creamy babes it's like one o'clock in the morning and i'm here doing this can you imagine i'm tired can you look at that it's so creamy wow i cannot wait to use this okay babe welcome back to the vlog today is saturday and my sister and the kids are coming over 
I'm just going to um, quickly uh, tidy the house up because it's been such a busy week like i've not really been at home and when i have been home i've just been working tomorrow is mother's day and obviously it's been three years since my mum died and like just mother's day is really difficult for me it's really difficult for my family it's a very sad day um like it's just a reminder for me it's a reminder that my mum isn't here that i don't have a mum um i miss having my mum i will never get over it never um i do find myself crying a lot sometimes i don't even know why i'm crying i'll just sit down and i'll just break down like i'll stop crying. and then sometimes I'm, I'm asking myself like why am i even crying but it's because that pain that pain is always there my mum was my rock she was my queen you know and it's just been so difficult like i can't watch anything emotional like mothers mother and daughter relationship or like anything to do with a mother in a film or anything i'm watching i cry i just cry because i miss that so much you know like she's left a void in me um and i just always pray to god to fill me with love to fill me um you know with his warmth to just fill me with that motherly love but god is doing his thing um but just having your mother physically is something you know she was just such a woman of god um and was just so pure like so loving so understanding she was she always brought people together always brought people together my mum hated separation she she hated people being um nasty to one another like my mum believed in the love of god and she believed in us showing that love of god to each other yeah it's just difficult mother's day has become a thing where we go to cemetery in the morning and sometimes we sing her favorite song um and it's just it, it's an emotional time it's in a really emotional time we clean um you know what one thing we don't do is speak my mom used to always say you don't speak to the dead um and she she used to say when she was alive i done a goofy even when i die boy i did she used to even say don't come to the cemetery but we said mom if you die or one of us die or somebody dies how can we not go to the cemetery to clean to look after the space and make sure that where you are it's clean you know but she used to say so if you're gonna come don't be speaking to the dead and saying words like i miss you da, 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 because my spirit isn't there anymore you know i'm not there anymore you're speaking to the spirit of the dead and this is how you start inviting um the spirit of the dead into your home and stuff like that um so i was just saying lingala so mama and luba atanga na kufi boya tena simitia tondo ibisai ah mama so yo kufi tom tom so kufi e foto ke de to bongisa place mtana zali po ezala propre Apart, I wonder about okay. So keep on going, but we go here. Me, both are take care. But come on, loba, loba, Parce que we just want to go free. As I le sou on a te. Don be esprit de mort is a belle. So we want to loba. Both are invited. Esprit de mort. Na bo mo inabino. Na ndaku. Don bo loba te. So as I le come loba, we want to tema. We want to tema na yo. Me, we be missing out te. Parce que be esprit is a belle. We be te bato a go free. Ah, we must go. Bazaba nganga. Bata bakisi. Bata kindoki. Bako use maloba wana. Bako mo kosala ngo ko travaya wana makamususu. Omoni yango nzali important. So ko kepla si. So tam bazo kunda is a different. Me so kimi te sa go free. Bache na place wana is important. Okay yo bongi si. Olobi ni makuna mte ma opreye kamem. Omoni se sa. O sale mpesa c'est bon mais il a te bando loba ba ndiko lela o do loba makam non to lela na biso parce que c'est normal you know by mon son toujours et mataka mais il faut que yeba ke ba place a bongo o ko ko loba formaté so i was just explaining that you know you don't want to invite all these spirits the people who were buried there you don't know what they were doing when they were alive you don't know what kind of spirits they possess you don't know if they were magicians you don't know if they were witchcrafts you don't know what they were doing so you just need to say a prayer in your heart speak in your heart and you know you can cry because it's normal i cry all the time you know when my mom died i just like i would lock myself like mother's day i wouldn't go on social media i wouldn't go on social media i hated seeing like older you know elderlies in the streets like 
I used to embrace eld eld uh, elderly people so much. Like when I'll see like you know elderly people on the street, friends, women especially. Like I'll just be like, oh, they are so cute. Like I loved it, but. I started questioning like why couldn't my mum reach that age why couldn't my mum be a grandma to my children you know like I never had a grandma like that like my mum's mum died my dad's mum died like I never got to meet them Ugh. I wanted my mum there and I wanted my kids to, to have my mum because I know that my mum's loving her teachings were just like her whole being was just so positive so loving and just everything that a you know a, a grandchild would want when it came to her grandkids like she would always visit she would always call she was all, always going shopping for them even when she was unwell she'll be like oh and i can like take back then or something like me a gp i'm like mom but you're unwell like sit down you're not feeling well you've got a headache she'll be like ah if not thumbs my colo like she just loved you know doing her lady of leisure stuff and I just miss that i just i wanted that so much and we never think that our parents are gonna die we never think that at all and for me it was a shock it was a shock like the more i think about it it was a shock to my system now like i'm a big believer of like protecting my heart our hearts are the most purest purest organ we have in our bodies and spiritually is a sacred place you know it's a sacred place where i connect with god in my heart and i i want to guard my heart i don't want to just let anybody in my life anyone in my space because i'm trying to protect my heart like i know that my heart has been broken that like my mum not being here like the day she passed completely my heart has been scarred for life like scarred for life and i even remember saying to myself that i could never let anyone break my heart again because losing my mum completely broke me it broke me and i want to be a mother like she was she wasn't perfect like i said but she was an amazing mum. my mum would be checking if i've showered she would be checking monthly let me see your armpit like have you you need to cut that why have you not cut that let me see that you know why have you not like let me smell it why have you not do you know what i mean like my mum was pretty much like that <laughs> she was so inner so inner like if i wasn't washing properly as a teenager my mum would be like if you don't wash yourself i'm going to come in the shower and wash you <laughs> like she was my mum was on it oh cutting my picker like some pika <laughs> eh ifo kata cha dodo ha cha lemon so uzo sokola ngo cha vuma lemon après obimi tango obimi na douche o che ni nyoyo o che dodo ha okay no mom was very much like that mom mom si ata mo bala ako mo so ma pika te ifo so la soin even my brothers ah mo bi at my brothers like isa show me your ampe she was very tidy she was very clean she was an amazing cook oh anyone who knows my mum and, and, and has come to my house will attest that my mum's cooking even just chicken alone when my mum made chicken hmm. i should be like eh na make it recept a cicate na mona kangu na youtube me like abi yao meka yao meka i'll be like edwige yao le na sali vegetable vegetable tu nara ni pondu I so ano be ango vegetable. Tuo sa salindunda che baba ba ninyo ba aubergine ba solo mbisa o kau kau. Na sali vegetables kuno fufa ya mai mai. Hey, we used to eat. Biando liya bien. So ki aule na mutu eh. Aya ato liya pona liya bien. I miss my mom praying for me. Like I could be like, mom, I've got a headache. My mom will pray for me. She'll get olive oil, oil d'oxyon, and just place it on my forehead. She would pray for me and if anything i miss that so much like i just miss mum praying for me like she would put her hand on me and say god this is the fruit of my my womb i present to you my daughter i pray may you bless her whole being like my mum would pray for me she would pray for my family my siblings she'd pray for everybody everyone and i just miss that so much i miss it so much like whenever i'm sick whenever i'm going for a job interview whenever i'm feeling low she'll be like come let's pray like, all she wanted was for me to be blessed and now that i'm you know actually doing what i've always wanted to do i just wish that she was here 
to see the fruits of my labor to see that the the blessings and the fruits of our prayers and to see that god has really like come through um but i want to celebrate her today because she was such an amazing woman to everyone who came across her and i just want to say a message quickly like just know that you will only have one mum, you will only have one dad do you know what i'm saying regardless of what they've done regardless of how horrible they have been you need to spend that time with them you need to get that closure because the day god will decide to take them it may be too late for you to wish that you even had said sorry or you had told them that you love them or you had even just as much as a conversation with them no one can replace my mum. my mum's love was unique and i will never get that from anyone you know as a mother you love your child unconditionally no auntie no a mum from the community could love you like your mum. no one no one you know no one no one could love you like that anyway happy sunday and i hope you uh, enjoyed the vlog thank you so much for watching until the end i will see you guys in the next video happy mother's day to everybody Mwah. love you lots bye <laughs> God, God. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, darling. You're welcome. My darling, I love you too much. I love you. I love you, I love my you. daughter. <laughs>